hi everyone welcome back to engineers tech up channel this is mohit so in this video guys we will discuss tell me about yourselves so in the many video i have already discussed but i will make other specific video for you because many of them are uh, doing some mistakes while uh, giving this answer tell me about yourselves so this tell me about yourself supports you are attending the interview in your automation profile or if you have also knowledge of api testing and manual testing suppose you have a experience of eight years right and suppose you have a relevant experience in four year in automation and four years in manual testing suppose okay so you can make according to yourself you know, what is your experience but add your relevant experience is also important here because now these days the company is looking for as dead profile means you have a every knowledge like manual automation uh, if you will go in the automation ui api testing so everything you have a knowledge so if you are not if you don't have then please start to learn and brush up your skill set right so many of them are struggling to get the interview calls okay why they are not getting the interview calls because you don't have a proper you know a skill set are you understanding my point so first of all here i will highlight manual concept means software testing concept is very important manual concept right the so types of the testing uh, agile methodology right stlc right rtm how to write the test cases so these are the things are very important okay uh, then you can move in the automation part so in automation you can learn java selenium uh, or python selenium you can also go through the playwright so i have already made one video as a beginner which one is best so you can refer those video as well then uh, api testing so this is your mandatory skill guys if you don't have a this a skill then what happen you want to get the interview calls okay so first of all prepare well then you can start your interview so you will get many interview question in my tutorial i have uploaded so before going for the interview just go through that you know what types of the question they are going to ask and prepare well so if you have a preparation for around 70 to 80 percent even 60 percent you can start your interview then you will get some new questions and you, then you can prepare so in this in this video i'm going to highlight tell me about yourself so i took the couple of the interview and we have a very less time okay so the panel having the 30 minutes time and 45 minutes time so why this is important i'm going to tell you if someone is going to explain tell me about yourself five minutes then what i can ask the question from them okay so be not please do not make this question means answer as a more lengthy so interviewer will irritate what i can ask sometime we have to stop them okay so in the tell me about yourself you have a very crisp and clear you have to give the more chance to ask the question you know from you know interviewer is waiting like so do not waste your time okay so you do not tell your all the story in your tell me about yourself so i told you right i took the couple of the interview the people are telling the i previously what project i have worked there were explaining that their last project okay so that thing should not happen okay so what actually you have to speak very crisp and clear few points you have to highlight that's it okay you can give the more time to the interviewer to ask the question okay if you know the some questions is very well you can present you can take time there okay so don't waste their time unnecessary you know they will irritate and they will reject your profile okay this thing happened with me as well i took many interview okay so they are speaking anything okay so this thing will not work follow this your name already your profile is there you should if you want you can tell but i will not recommend you can say my name is this no these guys already know your name because your profile is already there in your hand their hand 
okay so they already know everything about you they already gone through your resume so uh, skip this point so hey hi uh, then you can start uh, i having a total year of experience in testing profile then you can say your current organization where are you working then you can say my relevant experience so suppose i having the total uh, eight year of experience then about my relevant experience like four year in automation testing then four year i worked in the manual testing relevant experience then about your skill set highlight your skill set what a skill set you have worked on that so about my skill set so my primary you can also highlight the primary a skill set i am very passionate to work on i work with java, uh, java. Uh, my primary skill set is java selenium cucumber framework api testing you can also add here secondary if you have otherwise you can skip this you can just say my skill set okay suppose you are learning something uh, suppose you are learning python as well right and you are not prepared well but you should say i have a my primary skill set as well so secondary skill set so i am started to learn python i have some basics idea about of the python so highlight those point if interviewer will ask you that question might be you will not able to give the 100% because still you are in the learning phase so skill set is very important then they will understand oh these guys are good in this subject then i will ask the question from java or selenium okay then your current project okay so in my current then you can say see in the current project when you will come in the current project then you can go for your roles and responsibility so for the project right you have to again here you have to not spend more time about of your project you can say my project currently i am working on the e-commerce domain so what you are working in your current project i am working so i i i involved in manual and automation task or i completely involved in automation so we are going to full focus on my automation work then how what is your roles and responsibility what is your contribution in your project okay this thing you have to highlight so just you can go for that yeah hey, we have a two week sprint then according to the uh, you know as per the sprint planning we are getting the requirement okay so be uh, so i involve in the script development and framework maintenance for the script development right so understanding the requirement so when you have a jira you will get a user story so all the description you have understanding the requirement and we can start to do the uh, script development so you can just highlight some technical part like in my framework like we have a hybrid framework then we are following the page object then we are uh, we are doing the data driven so uh, as per the manual step we are creating the pom if our, our pom is ready then those method we are calling in the test runner class then we will do some uh, local execution if local execution a script is working fine then we can do the multiple uh, multiple run in my local so i can check the stability of the code it is working and fine so in my uh, means in in document like we have to follow some document guys so when you are implementing your project okay so every team member so in my uh, we have to mandatory to run the our script at least 10 times in the local as well to check the stability of the code if everything is working fine then we can raise the pr okay it will go for the review then we have a two level of the review if everything is working fine then it will uh, much if you are getting any review comment i can work on that i can again close it then it will merge in the master so this is how you have to highlight your roles and responsibility guys so that's it okay so it won't be take much time if you will go for if you just you can do the practice you know one time so if you are new in your just you are going to start your interview you have never attended interview, just introduce yourself you know and just record yourself and you can see how you are presenting yourself okay so that's it in this video guys if you are new in the channel please subscribe my channel press bell icon to get new video notification 
so many of them are not subscribing my channel okay but uh, please subscribe uh, your uh, only i need your support to you know uh, support my channel so i can have a many content i'm get i will get more confidence to share my real time experience my knowledge you know many of them are struggling i know that if you do not work in the real time so many challenges will come in the interview also so it won't be take much delay to get your dream offer letter so if you will follow my video as well okay because all the mistakes what you are going to do i already explain you in this video and whatever the video i have uploaded so what happened you have a very less possibility to do this mistake in your live interview okay so that is what my video will help you guys okay so see in the next video bye bye